were asking specifically about medical marijuana, but I'll pose an answer in terms of recreational and medical marijuana, because I see one as a subset of the other. And uh, as I said in the introduction there, ironically, the uh, 1961 UN Convention on Narcotics does label uh, marijuana as a narcotic with no therapeutic value. So this was a complete demonisation of the drug that we, as minions of America, which did, did, did um, initiate those uh, uh, conventions in the United Nations, have gone uh, just blindly into this idiocy and there's absolutely no other way to couch it. And I love the way you said it as one of the great social issues of our time. I, I can see no other way that this issue won't be judged in by history on the same level as perhaps uh, slavery was judged, as perhaps uh, the persecution of uh, uh, homosexuals will be judged, as the disenfranchisation of, of, uh, of um, women is judged. It's because we have a a law, a persecution of a minority that for heaven's sake is 10% of the population regularly smokes marijuana for medicinal or other purposes. And this is an obscenity. And this is where I'd perhaps, you know, really like to say, you know, how c can it get this far, 40 years? I, I'm 50, 60, 60 years old, I lie, I'm, I'm 59 years old. Seems like yesterday, but at any rate, at university I was... Uh, caught up in the, the marijuana movement and thought, look, five years, this thing will work itself out, it'll be legal. And here I am 40 years later with the same shit going on. We've got people being bloody busted, we've got dogs at festivals sniffing kids' groins for a bit, a bit of pot. Uh, it is an obscenity. Now, my point is that I think we, the people in this room that get it, get the point, my generation has got to poke our bloody heads out the window and say enough is enough, like that Jack Lemmon, and I'll show him my age here, movie, where he... He says, you know, I'm mad as hell and I've had it. Well, I really think that's what we need to do. And this is where the drug he is trying to make some points and get some grounds to give this debate some legitimacy, to point out that it is wrong at every level to be persecuting people for an action that in actual fact does no other person harm except the person consuming the sustenance. It's about the same as masturbation, you know. Who's hurt? So, look, I'll, I'll leave it there, but I, I could not agree, and I appreciate you. I do want to infuse some passion in this issue, which is what we're here in Nimbin about, what we were in Melbourne uh, only last weekend with Fiona, uh, waving the flag at the 420 rally at f 20 past four on the 20th of November uh, in a form of civil protest, uh, waving the flag, saying, you know, to the governments, that those who will look to the media, that this is wrong, and we're not going to take it any longer.